Suppose if I have 10 grams of hydrogen in this box, how many atoms of hydrogen will be present in this 10 grams of hydrogen? This can be identified by a mole concept. To understand the mole concept, let us first understand a very simple example of fruits. Suppose I want one dozen of apples. How many apples should I get there? 12 apples. Suppose if I want one dozen of pineapples. How many pineapples should I get? 12 pineapples. And if I want one dozen of oranges, I should get 12 oranges. But will the mass of 12 apples, 12 pineapples and 12 oranges be equal? No. The mass of 12 apples might be 5 kgs. The mass of 12 pineapples might be 10 kgs. The mass of 12 oranges might be 3 kgs. So when we say 1 dozen, the number remains constant 12. But the mass depends upon which substance are we taking. Now the same concept we can use while finding moles. If I tell you I need 1 mole of hydrogen, how many hydrogen atoms will it have? It will have 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 atoms of hydrogen in it. But if I tell you I want 1 mole of oxygen, how many oxygen atoms will it have? It will have 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 atoms of oxygen. Similarly, if I tell you I want 1 mole of nitrogen, it will contain 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 atoms of nitrogen. But will the mass of all these atoms be equal? No. Mass of 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 atoms of hydrogen will be 1 gram. That is because the atomic mass of hydrogen is 1 unit. Then mass of 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 atoms of oxygen will be 16 grams because atomic mass of oxygen is 16 units. And mass of 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 atoms of nitrogen will be 14 grams because atomic mass of nitrogen is 14 units. So one mole of any element will have fixed number of atoms in it that is 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 but the mass will depend upon the atomic mass of that element. So 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 is a fixed number which was given by Avogadro. So this number is called the Avogadro number. Now when we check the atomic masses here of the elements they are written in grams. So here right now these masses are called the molar masses, the mass of one mole of each element. So molar mass of hydrogen is 1 gram, molar mass of oxygen is 16 grams and molar mass of nitrogen is 14 grams. So we can define molar mass as the atomic mass or molecular mass of substances expressed in terms of grams is called molar mass. Now let's take the example of nitric acid. If I tell you I want 1 mole of nitric acid, how many nitric acid molecules will be present in it? There will be 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 molecules of HNO3 present in 1 mole of nitric acid. What will be the mass of 1 mole of nitric acid then? Mass of 1 hydrogen is 1 unit, mass of 1 nitrogen is 14 units and mass of 1 oxygen is 16 units and there are 3 oxygens present in the formula. So total mass of HNO3 is 63 units. So molar mass of HNO3 will be 63 grams. So 1 mole of HNO3 will have 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 molecules of HNO3 which is nothing but equal to 63 grams. Similarly, if I tell you how many molecules of hydrogen will be present in 1 mole of hydrogen molecules? It will be 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 molecules of hydrogen. But what will be the molar mass of molecules of hydrogen? It will be 1 plus 1 that is 2 grams because here we are talking about H2 the molecule. If we talk about hydrogen atoms, it is going to be 1 gram, but because we are talking about hydrogen molecule, it is going to be 2 grams. Similarly, in nitrogen molecules, if we have 1 mole of nitrogen molecules, it would contain 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 molecules of nitrogen, 
whose mass is going to be 28 grams because the molar mass of nitrogen atoms is 14 grams but molar mass of nitrogen molecules will be double that is 28 grams because nitrogen is N2. Thus if I tell you one mole of ozone layer will contain how many ozone layer molecules? It will contain 6.022 into 10 raise to 23 molecules of O3. But what will be the mass of one mole of ozone? It will be 3 into 16 units that is nothing but 48 grams. So molar mass of ozone is going to be 48 grams. Now suppose if I tell you I have one mole of nitrogen molecules. How many molecules will be present in one mole? 6.022 into 10 raise to 23 molecules of nitrogen. That means we have 6.022 into 10 raise to 23 N2s present. So how many atoms will be present in this one mole of nitrogen molecule? Twice the number which is nothing but equal to 12.044 into 10 raise to 23 atoms. Because nitrogen molecules are N2 that means two, mole, two atoms together. Let us solve some question based on mole concept. Calculate the number of moles for the following 52 grams of helium and 12.044 into 10 raised to 23 number of helium atoms. Now first of all you have to understand the question. Here you have been provided in the first sub question 52 grams of helium. You have to calculate 52 grams of helium will be how many moles. It is just like calculating if you have 10 kgs of bananas, how many dozens of bananas will you have? So for finding out the solution to any such questions in mole concept, the first step will be you have to find out one mole of that element will have how many atoms first. So one mole of helium is equal to 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 atoms of helium. How much will this one mole weigh? Now helium's atomic mass is 4 unit. So one mole of helium will weigh 4 grams. So my entire formula becomes one mole of helium is equal to 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 atoms of helium which is equal to 4 grams. Now the next step will be you have to calculate the number of moles so you have to take moles as x so we will write let the number of moles of helium be x in 52 grams of helium so you have to continue the question in the statement now whatever you have written in this statement you have to convert it in the form of an equation so the equation becomes x moles of helium is equal to 52 grams of helium. Now in the equation on the left hand side you have x moles. So you check your first step. Where do you find moles? 1 mole. So just write 1 mole above this x moles. And in the equation that we have formed on the right hand side we have 52 grams of helium. So check in the first step where do you find grams? 4 grams. So write 4 grams above 52 grams of helium. Thus we have formed an equation saying if 1 mole is equal to 4 grams of helium then x moles will be equal to 52 grams of helium. So for finding out x we have to cross multiply now. So after cross multiplying we get x is equal to 52 upon 4 which is equal to 13 moles. Thus 52 grams of helium will have 13 moles. Now let's come to the second question. In the second question we have 12.044 into 10 raise to 23 number of helium atoms. We have to find out the number of moles present in these helium atoms. It is just like calculating the number of dozens in 12.044 into 10 raise to 23 bananas. So the first step will be 1 mole of helium is equal to 6.022 into 10 raise to 23 helium atoms which is equal to 4 grams. The second step will be 
let the number of moles be x in 12.044 into 10 raised to 23 number of helium atoms. Now in the next step, we will be converting our statement into an equation form. So x moles is equal to 12.044 into 10 raised to 23 helium atoms. Now in our equation on the left hand side, we have x moles. When we check our first step, in the first step, where do we have moles? It is 1 mole. So we write 1 mole above the x moles. And in our equation on the right hand side, we have 12.044 into 10 raised to 23 number of helium atoms. So when we check our first step, where do we have number of atoms? In the center, that is 6.022 into 10 raised to 23. So we write 6.022 into 10 raised to 23, about 12.044 into 10 raised to 23. Thus, our equation becomes if 1 mole of helium will contain 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 helium atoms, then x mole of helium will contain 12.044 into 10 raised to 23 number of helium atoms. So when we cross multiply, we find the answer x is equal to 2. So that means in 12.044 into 10 raised to 23 helium atoms, the number of moles are 2. Now let us solve one more question. Calculate the mass of the following 0.5 moles of nitrogen gas. Now here we are going to calculate the mass of 0.5 moles of nitrogen gas. So our first step will be 1 mole of nitrogen gas is equal to 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 molecules of nitrogen because here we are talking about N2 which is equal to 28 grams because 1 N is 14 grams so 2 Ns will be 28 grams. Now the next step is we have to take mass as X. So let the mass be X grams for 0.5 moles of N2 gas. Now in the next step we will be converting our let statement into equation form. So we get x grams is equal to 0.5 moles. Now on the left hand side of our equation we have x grams and in our first step where is the gram symbol? We have 28 grams. So we write 28 grams above x grams and on our right hand side, we have 0.5 moles of N2 gas. And in the first step, where do we have moles? We have 1 mole. So we write 1 mole about 0.5 moles. So our equation becomes, if 28 grams is equal to 1 mole of nitrogen gas, then X grams will be equal to 0.5 moles of nitrogen gas. Thus, when we cross multiply, we get X is equal to 14 grams.